Hi everyone. I'm 38 and a half weeks today, um, but I thought I would do another update before 39 weeks just because there's lots going on. It's been probably the most eventful week so far that I can remember just with feeling like things are going on and stuff is changing and so anyways um, I'll probably make it to 39 weeks but you never know I hope not so um, but let's see what's going on definitely my Braxton Hicks have been picking up for sure I had a lot um, I've had a lot before just you know throughout these last couple months but lately this week especially I can tell definitely picking up I have several more a day than I used to have and um, like last night I woke up like three times during the night and I think it was just because I mean because I was having a Braxton Hicks or contraction or whatever and it wasn't painful but you know uncomfortable and really tight and and uh, so much so that it like woke me up like quite a few times in the night, which I, has never happened to me before. So that was last night that um, I kept waking up and having Braxton Hicks in the middle of the night, which was weird. And I was kind of uncomfortable all night. You know, I always am, but um, a little different than normal. Um, I've been having a little more cramping lately, like menstrual cramp feeling stuff. Not a ton or any extended period of time, but every time it does happen, I'm like, I get all excited because I think something's going on, but but probably something's going on. I might be dilating, you never know. Um, but the other day, um, I was out shooting with Andrew, shooting video, that's what he does if you didn't know that. Um, out in the really hot, and we were walking around and stuff. Anyway, and then I was starting to feel kind of sick, and the car ride home, I was, like, so crampy, and it was, like, every little bump that we went over, I w it was felt just like, oh my goodness, please slow down. Like, it was so uncomfortable that I was almost feeling like, is there something going on right now? I don't know. But that's just how I've been all these last couple of weeks because I'm too excited. So I'm just getting my hopes up. Everything that happens, I think something's happening. But I was very crampy the whole way home. Where even to where I was like kind of trying to practice my breathing. I was like, okay. <laughs> but then I got out of the car and cooled down in the house and felt better, unfortunately. So um, I felt better, but I did... Um, lose my mucus plug right like after when I went to the bathroom after that which if you don't know what a mucus plug is don't look it up it's disgusting and anyway but so that happened which I read um, a little bit after that happened and they say that it means that you're um, you know that it happens when you're widening or dilating or whatever so hopefully Hopefully that's what's going on. Um, I had a doctor appointment on Friday when I was 37 weeks. Oh no, when I turned, about the time I turned 38 weeks is when I had my appointment. And at that time I was one centimeter, like one and a half she said. She was trying to make it two, but it wasn't quite two. So, um, And so I was a little disappointed. Andrew was like, oh, wow, crazy, it's already whatever, but I was like, I kind of wanted yeah, at least two, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter. I know that it can mean, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, but anyway, so I was one and a half-ish centimeters and 80% effaced, and he is at a negative two station, which I think my last video I mentioned that I felt like he was really low, so... He is, <laughs> and that's good um, because hopefully I won't have to push so long to get him down. Um, so that'll be good. But I don't know if I mentioned last time about that. Sometimes he like he is so low that I don't know if he moves a certain way. Sometimes I get like this shooting pain down my leg, um, 
or kind of in my hip groin area he'll like pinch something that feels like a nerve that I, it, it's only for a second and then when I you know move my leg or whatever he'll move but that's not fun but it never lasts long so I don't really care anyway what else did she say she said that I'm pretty soft and that was good and that um she didn't give me any kind of prediction of when he might be coming because she had to take off and deliver a baby right after she checked me and then she got paged and had to leave. But I was so excited. I was like, oh, have fun. I hope it goes well. Because, you know, it's just exciting because I'm so excited for that to be me. So, And she had this um, scoring system. I forget what she called it, but it was... Yeah, I forget what she called it, but... It's kind of like, it's a scale from 1 to 13, and she said 13 is pretty much you're in labor if you're at a 13, and um, my score was a 9. So they take into account your effacement, your dilation, his station, how low he is, whatever, um, and they use that for different things. So anyway, I was at a 9, so I guess that's, I mean, it's pretty good, I guess. Um, let's see, I've been swelling a lot in my ankles and feet, which worried me at first, because I know that can be a sign of preeclampsia, but I've been keeping an eye on it, and it's really bad when it's hot out, which it's starting to get hot out, so I know that can be a factor, and then when I'm doing a lot on my feet, or just sitting all day, so, um, um, anyway, but what else? Yeah, pretty much it's fine, like, in the mornings when I wake up, it's, I check them and they're fine, and then by the end of the day, they're pretty swollen, but they've actually been getting better, because my mom said to kind of, like, take it easy, because I've been up and around and shopping and getting the nursery together and stuff a lot and so anyway I've been trying to take it a little more easy the last few days and they are looking a lot better so so I didn't feel like I needed to call um my doctor because because it's not like it's really excessive I've only felt that way a couple times in the evening where I'm like eek those are pretty bad but always in the morning it's fine and then so anyway but that's not cute. <laughs> Kinkles, yay! Um, hopefully it's just all water that'll go away after, though. Um, anyway, but kind of... Oh, and then also my hands a little bit. Just when it's hot out, pretty much, when it's hot. And this can even happen when I'm not pregnant, but especially since I've been pregnant, my ring, like even right now, I'm pretty warm up here, but I can get it off, but it freaks me out a little. So... I, I, if I've been hot or I'm like doing housework and working and I know my hands are going to start swelling, I, I've been like leaving it on my little ring holder a lot because it, oh, I hate that feeling when I try to get it off and I can't, so. Anyway, I got a pedicure yesterday with my mommy. That was really, really nice. Oh my gosh. It was the best one that I've ever, I've had a couple before. But this one was at Rain Spa. I don't know if that's just in Idaho or what. But And they did like a scrub and a massage and this like heat wrap thing. And it gave me iced tea and it was lovely. And my toes. I'll show you my toes. There, um, I can't tell where I'm pointing it so hopefully you can see. Um, 